Clem Gardner on Hightower, uh, Calgary Stampede 1919. Uh, this was a special commission uh, by a gentleman who's the uh, a relative of Clem Gardner, and he wanted to uh, brought me a photograph that was taken in 1919. And I actually did the sculpture really from that one old photograph. And uh, the story is that Clem Gardner was quite a tough old cowboy, and he's, he was a saddle bronc rider and a calf roper, and he competed at the Calgary Stampede for many years, and he's been memorialized up there in the uh, museum. And uh, the interesting part about it is, is this old bronc called Hightower, he had a reputation that, you know, if he couldn't buck the cowboys off, he'd flip over on them. And he's just in the process, uh, when this picture was taken that I actually did the monument, or the sculpture from, he's in the process of flipping over. Uh, it's kind of a unique thing, not too many, that horse won't last around for too long trying to do that and really hurt the cowboys. But it's a real old school uh, sculpture. Um, if you look at him, he's wearing Angora shaps, and he's got a tie on, and he's wearing suspenders. And, you know, it's, uh, it's almost 100 years ago that he wrote this bra. And, um, you know, I always love sculpting rodeo sculptures. You know, there's nothing more exciting than an old bronc rider. Especially back in those days, they didn't have chutes and they'd snub them horses up. If you look in his hand, he's riding with a bronc rein. And usually a bronc rider, he'll turn his hand differently in the rein than the, uh, I have Clem hold up. But that's how the picture was and that's how they, I was supposed to do it. So, you know, they just snub them horses up and throw them rain, and, and they didn't have to quit riding them at eight seconds. They had to ride them until they quit bucking. That's back when them men were pretty tough.